Ooh, good morning. Uh, it's day five, which is a Friday, I believe. I lose my track of time here. Um, going down to get some water from the river. Seems to be my routine where I get up a little bit after six, maybe 6.30. Wrapping camp and um, getting water pretty much packed up. I'll have to look at my phone and see what time it is, but I think it was 8.38 when I went down to go get the water. Just left camp Friday. I think I'm getting close to uh, mile 16 hot spring. Uh, rather cold, 47 degrees. And I can see the sun over there. I'm waiting for me to get in the sun, but I'm still in this canyon here. But yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty nice. Okay, here I am at mile 16. Hot spring, uh, someone here, but here's the steps. I unfortunately want to make my call today, so I don't think I'm going to go down. It's supposed to be one of the prettier ones, or nicer ones, but I'm going to get going. One of the construction workers when I left yesterday told me I was going to have some rough road. This must be all the stuff they have to repair. I think I'll figure out what I want to do once I get to Ponderosa. It's about 20 miles away, maybe 18 now, and uh, 1,400 feet of climbing. Just past Buckhorn Trailhead, coming up on Buckhorn Campground, I would think. like some road construction I can't ride this slice my tires open I hope this isn't too long go up here with the smaller stuff There's no way I can do 50 miles today in these conditions let's see yep road closed so basically at mile 20 it ends Mile 21. Woo. for at least the campground outside of McCall. I'm being optimistic with this road. I have a feeling this road's gonna end soon and it's gonna be a gravelly washboard. Indian Ridge Trail, Phoebe Meadows. North Buckhorn Trail. Cressel Knob. North Fork Buckhorn Trail or Creek. Mail delivery. 
work center. Oh, I see. Another one of these work centers where they station the, the forestry service. I'd love to know when all these different forest fires were. There's not really much growth here, so I don't know how old this one is. One mile to East Fork Road, it says. I think that's where I turn. So I am at East Fork Road, McCall 32, Yellow Pine. And again, there's the uh, Indian Point campground. I didn't see that one on the map. Maybe I missed it. It's not on the digital map, that's for sure. There's the end of my pavement. I can handle this if it's not washboardy, but if it's washboardy, it's gonna suck. It's called Lake Creek Road now, I believe. I'm at Ponderosa and I have climbed, not much. Let's see, I've only, well, a thousand feet. I have like 4,900, um, I'm at 4,000 feet. Uh, I think the plan is to power through, depending on how bad the road is. Um, it's been getting a little bit more washboardy after I turned on to uh, Lick East, oh, East Fork Road, and then that became Lick Creek Road, I believe. And uh, you don't need to see me eat like Bike Touring Mike or Bicycle Tour Pro, I won't put you through that, do the digital map. I recommend getting both. This paper map's great for when you're doing your research and you want to look at it at the end of the day, but this digital map, which I've downloaded and just put you on the map GPS, is uh, on the route GPS-wise, is quite, you know, is priceless to me. And you can, like right now, I can just pick a point, put a pin in and where I want to go, and then put a pin in where I am or where I want to get a marker from or distance, and it will calculate the distance and the grade. Yesterday was day four, and that was my first time in a U.S. forestry uh, campground. And I've been near water every night except for the first night when I came down off of uh, Galena Summit. I dropped down into that prairie because the next morning I got my water. I wasn't too far away from the water, so I've always been near water, and I can hear it right now. It's just that I'm above it. I hear streams on my right coming down, you know, little waterfalls, whatever you want to call it, streams, I guess, that feed into the, the river below me, you know, getting to it may be a challenge. So I filled up at the Ponderosa campground. You know, you tend not to look up, but look at that sheer rock. I mean, and there's pine trees up there. I don't know if you can see it, but I am at 5,500 feet, four more miles to go to uh, this climb, which I assume is the summit, but I just want to show you how bad the smoke is. The sun is out now. Um, there's the sun. And it's, what, close to four o'clock? And there's the valley. You can't even see. That's how bad the air is. Just over two miles from the summit, I believe. And there's just all these rocks. And the smoke had such a eerie feeling to it. Not really a sound other than the wind. It was just a mountain of rocks. Ah, this is it. The summit. Wow, no plaque, no nothing. Ah, uh, that sucks. But I did uh, see a couple guys coming up. They were just doing like a weekend trip from Cascade or McCall to uh, uh, Warm Lake. And they were on fat bikes, which uh, is probably pretty comfortable actually. Probably good on the sand. Uh -oh. Tell me a slow downhill. Lake Fork campground for the night. Two tenths of a mile off the road. I hope they have room. It is Friday. Oh, it's wide open.
open. Okay. Good morning. It's a Saturday. Yeah, here I am at Lake Fork Campground. I uh, got in a little after six last night. Okay, you can see I explode out of the saddlebag. And there's a little pile I was considering shipping home. That's not all of it, but if I was to continue, I think I've decided after yesterday's ride coming down the hill, make this my last day and ride into McCall and get, uh, get a hotel room. And or uh, figure out the bus schedule. It really depends on the bus schedule. From Evidently, there's a bus that runs from uh, McCall to uh, Boise and then rent a car and go back, drive back to Sun Valley to pick up my car. So I'm about 10 miles out. This is Lake Fork Campground. Um, it was $10 a night to camp here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ride into town 10 miles and figure out uh, what the plan is from here. If you're going to do this ride, you need bigger tires. These are 40 millimeter and they're way too thin. Uh, you need a fatter tire for the sand. Uh, the guys I saw yesterday had the fat bikes. They must have had four or five inch tires on their bike, it looked like. Um, he claimed it was, he thought it was overkill, but I, but I, I don't know. He'd probably be able to get through that sand really well. I mean, these tires were just slicing through the sand. And since I have so much weight on the bike, which is another issue, I brought way too much stuff. If I was to do it again, I would probably only bring, since I'm so close to water all the time, you can maybe hear the water. Uh, I would probably only bring maybe one, one chamois, one shirt, one pants, uh, just because I can wash it every night. You know, ideally, if you get in a few hours and you still have daylight, you can wash everything. The smoke is another issue why I'm not going to continue. Uh, it's just really, really bad, and I know it's not healthy. I have two battery packs, a 20,000 amp milliamp hour and a 10,000 milliamp hour, and that seems to have powered everything for a couple days without power. In terms of gearing, I probably want to go a little lower. I think I'm right around 19 gear inches with this combination of 11 to 46 in the back and a uh, 32 up front. It's 11 speed. I would think about maybe uh, putting a, at least a 30 on the front and then uh, maybe going 1150 in the back. Uh, that would maybe make it a little easier because the climb was a little tough with all this weight. Today's a short one, 10 miles. Leaving Lake Fork Campground. There's a older two couples next to me. Um, they came over at the end and asked me what I was riding the two gentlemen. Told them my plan where I had been. Um, they were from Boise, but all right, about to head into town.